Hi, it's Jane back again from Elna. So now we've threaded our sewing machine up, we've wound our first bobbin, so now we're ready to pop the bobbin into the machine and start sewing. So there's a little button on the, on the machine here, a little black button, so I'll just pull that towards me and the cover will pop out the machine. The thing to remember is with your bobbin, it needs to go in with either, we can either go P for perfect or I'm left handed, so top left, so we drop the bobbin in. And there's two little marks here, I don't know if you can see it, they go under here and here. So we're just going to pull the thread under, take it round the guides here. Again, these are all numbered with little arrows on them as well, one and two, a little blade to cut it. Pull the thread off, pop the cover back on again, again, pop it in a little angle and just make sure it's clipped in. And then we're ready to start sewing. All the machines, when you switch them on, will automatically default to a straight stitch and they come set with the A foot. So we're just good to go now, so we can start sewing and off we go we can go really slowly and then we can speed up if we want to and oops i caught my thread and then we can stop we can pivot it's a bit of a wobbly line where i got my thread caught in the back and then we can stop we can we've got an option here we can reverse stitch we can lock stitch so i'm going to lock stitch this time press the lock stitch button it'll stop and tie off for me and then i'm going to cut can if we want to press the little button here the lock stitch in the scissors so the scissors are active on the screen so every time we hit the lock stitch the scissors will automatically cut the thread for us and we don't even need to do that so if you've got any queries or any questions at all if you can either send them in or drop us an email and we can answer them for you so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you soon